Hello, welcome to the Call for Engagement video instruction guide. My name is Sophia Iqbal and I'm the head of program for World's Water Week. I'm joined by my colleagues from the team who will go ahead and introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Adina Israelson and I'm the session officer for talk shows. Hi, my name is Victoria Fruling and I'm in charge of coordinating the CUE seminars here at World Water Week. Hi, my name is Susanna Stark and I work with Impact at World Water Week. Hi, my name is Ingrid Sangmay Rice and I work mainly with the World Water Week sessions and the program. Thank you, ladies. Now for today's video guide, we will be covering the session submission process for convening organizations. First, for our newcomers, I will give you insights about World Water Week and this year's theme. Second, Adina will share the benefits of engaging in World Water Week overall. Then Victoria will dive into the types of convener session formats and benefits of each activities. After that, Susanna will take over and walk through how World Water Week is tracking impact in 2023 and how our conveners should think about their sessions impact in their proposal. After that, Ingrid will give you a step-by-step -step technical guide on our submission system so that you know exactly what to do when you get to that point of the process. Finally, it'll come back to me and I will share a bit more about the review process and when you should hear from us. So what is World Water Week? World Water Week was first held over 30 years ago in 1991 and is now the leading conference on global water issues. As a nonprofit event co-created with convening organizations, World Water Week attracts a diverse mix of NGOs, academia, private businesses, governmental organizations, and others from every corner of the world. Together with our participants, we develop solutions to the world's greatest water-related challenges with topics ranging from food security and health to agriculture, technology, biodiversity, and the climate crisis. The 2023 event being held August 20th to 24th here in Stockholm and online is focused on innovation. The theme Seeds of Change Innovative Solutions for a Waterwise World invites us to rethink how we manage water. Which ideas and systems will we need in a more unstable and water scarce world? Because of this, our definition of innovation is broad to include product level innovation, social innovation, process innovation, and system level innovation. These different areas will be explicitly linked to water issues such as resources management, usage, human and societal benefits, security, climate resilience, and sustainability. Now on to Adina to talk about World Water Week and the opportunities available when you choose to attend this type of event. The World Water Week Conference is a global meeting place across sections and national boundaries to share experience and to work on concrete solutions. As you can see in the image, the different types of organization represented, and it shows the diversity of the conference. Water experts mixed with government and NGOs are just a few who contribute to the week. In the image below, you see participants by seniority, such as decision-making advisors, researchers or students, and so on. There were four impacted-oriented dimensions that was highlighted from the 2022 participant survey. The four outcomes were awareness and willingness to act to solve water governance issues, influence to encourage others, and the implementation of water-related solutions. If you would like to see more statistics, please go to our webpage and you will find more from 2022. In 2022, we also held our first hybrid conference, a new format which opened the World Water Week up to a more inclusive audience. The week actively promotes the inclusion of youth, women, indigenous and marginalized people. The cross-cutting issues or CCIs as uh, gender equality, youth empowerment and a human rights based approach shapes CV's work and is apparent in the World Water Week initiatives for inclusions. Uh, the World Water Week 2022 attracted over 5,000 participants and 160 countries was represented. We also encourage the inclusion of youth and gender equally through the gold standard label, which required the session organizer to have at least 40% women participation in panels 
and at least one speaker under the age of 35. There were 82% sessions that met the gold standard last year. Thank you for listening. Over to you, Victoria. Thank you for that, Adina. I will now be presenting on the different session formats and benefits if you choose to become a convener at World Water Week. This year, we have a total of six amazing different session formats that you can choose from. The first one is our online showcase. These are great for highlighting and gather global input on a project or organization and to link with potential stakeholders. They will be a total of 30 minutes long and you're required to have one online moderator. They are for online audiences only, but the great news about this year is that all online participation will be free of charge, meaning that the access for your online attendees will be unlimited. Next up is our online 60 minute sessions. These will be fantastic for connecting with new audiences, targeting regions outside of the European time zone, building global visibility for your organization or a project. They can be any format, but you're required to have a five to 10 minute question and answer qu uh, section. You have to have one online moderator. And again, it's for online audiences only. Next up is our on-site and online session. These are great for all conveners that are hoping to come join us here in Stockholm this year. They are fantastic for reaching other water experts and increasing global reach. They must include a 15 to 20 minute question and answer portion. They will be 90 minutes long. And because you're presenting both online and on site, you have to have one online moderator and one on site moderator. They will be available for on site and online audiences. On site, you will have a capacity of having 100 attendees and it will be unlimited online. Next up is a completely new session format for World Water Week. These are our workshops and trainings. These types of sessions will be great for high interactivity and networking, for sharing tools or techniques and other projects, for organizations that have projects in the field or have a certain technical expertise. They will be very hands-on and interactive. These sessions will be 90 minutes long. You have to have two to three workshop leaders and they will be on-site only. These sessions will have access to 30 uh, on-site attendees and they must pre-register before attending your session. Next up is our live studio talk show. These are short introductions to concepts and topics and for public reach. The format of these sessions are interview style with two to three uh, speakers and one moderator. This moderator can be supplied by Siwi, or you can supply your own moderator. The length of these sessions will be 20 minutes of content and 20 minutes of networking. It will be available both online and on site, but the number of attendees on site will be 40 and unlimited online. Finally, it's our film screenings and discussions. These Film screenings will be encouraging audiences to reflect on a particular subject or matter and stir up discussion. There will be several film screenings and they will be finalized by a panel discussion on site. The format of these sessions are film only and preferably 10 to 20 minutes long. You are required to have one on site speaker for this panel discussion. It will be available online and on site and the number of attendees on site will be up to 400 and of course, unlimited online audiences. Now, if you choose to become a convener at World Water Week, this will come with benefits. Some of the convener benefits are access to the convener success program. This include, includes email support with us, the World Water Week team, convener checklists, as well as several web training series on how to host a successful session. If you'd like more information and details on the convener benefits, please visit our website at worldwaterweek.org slash apply to engage. Now onto my colleague, Susanna. 
Defining what you want to achieve at Boil Water Week is essential for creating a successful submission and an impactful session. In this year's submission form, we ask you to describe desired impact and expected outcomes. By starting big and working your way backwards to your session as a starting point, you can derive how your session may link to a greater goal. You will not explain in detail to us how your session leads to change, but it is important that you understand what you want out of your session and what you want your session to lead to. There are many ways to achieve the SDGs. Convening a session at World Water Week may be one of those, and your session can lead to several outputs. It can increase knowledge, interest, skill, grow networks and create partnerships. These are all exciting things that can come out of a session. But what happens next? How can you capitalize on the interest you attracted and the skills you grew after World Water Week? These outcomes can become essential for driving change or implementation, which means that your session may create impact. Thinking about your session as the one part of an impact journey is not only important for the quality of the session at World Water Week, but it also furthers your strategic goals. By defining your desired impact and expected outcomes, we are also able to follow up on your session and see how well it influenced attendees. This can also feed into your organization's impact reporting. That is why we asked this year for you to actively think about the long-term impact you want to create with your session. When you create impact through World War Week with your session, we create impact together. So let's make your presence worthwhile. So you are interested in engaging in World Water Week. To see what activities we offer for organizations and individuals, go to worldwaterweek.org. Select convene. Here you can read about the different type of activities, benefits and prices that are included in World Water Week. Go to apply to engage and here you'll find the list of activities that we offer and the submissions if they are open and what deadlines they have. When clicking apply, you will be prompted to log in to the submission system. If you have already arranged something at World Water Week and have an account, you can just log in. Uh, if it's your first time, you will be asked to create an account. Once you've done this, you should be directed to the submission form for the activity you have selected. You will have to fill in the category that aligns with your topic the best, the title of uh, your proposal uh, and the summary. You can search for conveners that will be part of your session in the list. Uh, if they do not appear, you can add them below at other conveners. You will be asked to fill out more extensive descriptions of your sessions and your desired impact in the next step. Selecting prior knowledge is to help guide your audience on what's required from them in advance to your session uh, if they need expert knowledge in one of the topics that you will be discussing. You will select what target audience you have if you are directing your session to a specific time zone, for example, to help with scheduling. You will have to select the tags that are uh, applicable to your session. You will be asked about the, to adhere to our gold standard and you will see the price. If you will not be the contact person for this session, but you're submitting it on someone else's behalf, you will have to select that you will not be the session host and fill out their name and email address so we can contact them later on. You click submit and you're done and you should receive a confirmation email shortly with the session information that you have inputted you can log in again and make changes up until the deadline as the deadline has passed a committee will review all the proposals and make a selection and notifications will be sent out mid-april thanks everyone for your insights in our last minutes i just wanted to share some information about our sessions review process on March 7th, we will close the call for sessions. The call for talk shows will stay open until April 12th. Please note that once the call is closed, you will not be able to edit any sessions. After this time, our team will review all of the proposals for quality and timeliness.
We will also review proposals for how well they fit the session type, so please make sure that you understand the requirements for the type of session you are choosing. If we decide to accept a proposal, we may suggest some changes to the proposal. We strongly recommend that you take these comments under consideration as they will make your session more cohesive with the program and attractive to the audience. We will be sending out our decision between mid to late April. For those accepted to engage in World Water Week, we will be sending contracts and will set a deadline for receipt on 1st of May. Once we have accepted your proposal, you will need to go back into the submission system to add your invoicing and other activity details. This should only take a few minutes, so we ask that you do this in a timely manner. In May, we will launch the program and digital platform. We at the World Water Week team will be back with another video guide and or Q&A to help you move along in the process. We hope this guide was helpful to you. Timestamps will be available in the description on YouTube so that you can refer back to sections of this video as needed. If you have any other questions not addressed in this video, you will be able to reach us by email at worldwaterweek at seaweed.org. Thank you all for listening. We look forward to review reviewing your submissions and seeing you in August. Bye-bye.